Hi and welcome. This week I'm going to be changing the front brake pads on my Jalira 350 Saturno. This seems to be the season for changing brake pads. I've uh, just changed the front pads on my uh, Benelli TNT and now it's the Saturno. Um, you know, it's a good time of year. It's winter actually here in Melbourne, Australia to uh, do all that routine maintenance to get your bike ready for the summer riding season. Now the Jalira is fitted with a single disc and a Brembo four piston caliper. This is one of the earlier four piston calipers because this bike was uh, manufactured in 1988. And it has a fairly unique method for retaining the pads. It actually uses a bolt. Um, most Brembo calipers that I've seen seem to use a mixture of pins with uh, sir clips and spring clips and such like. And uh, certainly no two Brembo calipers seems to be the same when it comes to the way they retain their pads. So the first thing I need to do is actually remove some of the fluid in the master cylinder. These have fairly small master cylinders and it's certainly wise to check the fluid level in these master cylinders uh, after the pads have worn a bit because the fluid level can actually get quite low in them, unlike a more modern bike which has a much larger master cylinder on it. So the first thing I'll do is I'll get a syringe and drain some of the fluid out of the master cylinder and then I'll retract the pistons into the caliper. First I'm going to remove the bolt. Now I'll just use these circlet pliers to retract the pistons back into the caliper. And take out the pads. Well here are the old pads that were fitted to the Julira. Now they're not quite down to the wear indicator, they're about two thirds worn. Um, I usually like to replace them at about this point because there's nothing quite like forgetting to replace the pads and having them wear right down so you end up with a metal on metal event. A, it's not good for braking in that it won't stop you that well and B, it can do some serious damage to the discs themselves. So being a forgetful motorcyclist, I like to replace these uh, a little bit earlier than probably some owners do. Okay, well the next stage is to fit the new pads uh, to the caliper. And now I'll fit the new pads. Refit the retaining bolt. And refit the lock nut on the back. Now we'll just tighten up that lock nut. There we can. Now we'll just top up the brake fluid. Well now it's time to refit the cap and the little rubber bellows that's underneath it. 
I've cleaned this up with some methylated spirits to get any of the old brake fluid and corrosion off. So we just need to fit that now. Put the screws in and the job's done. Well, that's the complete procedure. Um, don't forget to pump that front brake lever a few times just to reseat those new pads on the disc. And of course, you'll need to go easy on the front brake for the first few kilometers until those pads bed in properly. And it's also worthwhile bleeding the brakes at this point too, if you haven't done it recently. Um, old fluid does absorb moisture and can become ineffective, particularly if the brakes get particularly hot, the moisture in the fluid can boil and that can affect your braking performance. So it's certainly worthwhile bleeding the brakes every time you change the pads, or more frequently if you're in a much wetter, moist uh, climate. Well, I think that's about it for this particular video, and I'll catch you next time.